Good morning. I'm going to read several passages out of 2 Kings today. It says, Uzziah, son of Amaziah, began to rule over Judah in the 27th year of the reign of King Jeroboam II of Israel. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father Amaziah had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrines, and the people still offered sacrifices and burned incense there. Jotham, son of Uzziah, began to rule over Judah in the second year of King Pekah's reign in Israel. Jotham did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight. He did everything his father Uzziah had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrines, and the people still offered sacrifices and burned incense there. Ahaz, son of Jotham, began to rule over Judah in the 17th year of Pekah's, King Pekah's reign in Israel. Ahaz was 20 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 16 years. He did not do what was pleasing in the sight of the Lord his God, as his ancestor David had done. Instead, he followed the example of the kings of Israel, even sacrificing his own son in the fire. In this way, he followed the detestable practices of the pagan nations the Lord had driven from the land ahead of the Israelites. He offered sacrifices and burned incense at the pagan shrines and on the hills and under every green tree. Now, the pagan shrines of Israel, or Judah, were built back in King Solomon's day on the high hills that surrounded Jerusalem to please Solomon's foreign wives so they could go worship their gods at their own altars up on the hills. Solomon was even led astray by them late in life, offering sacrifices there himself. Now, down through the years, very few kings had the wholehearted devotion to the Lord that would lead them to destroy the high places. King Amaziah, he followed the Lord, but he didn't destroy them. King Uzziah, Followed the Lord, did what was pleasing in the sight of the Lord, but did not destroy them. King Jotham followed the Lord, but did not destroy them. So what happens when we allow the high places and pagan altars to linger in our lives? Well, it says here, Ahaz, son of Jotham, began to rule over Judah and he offered sacrifices and burned incense at the very same pagan shrines and altars and hills and under every green tree that existed back in King Solomon's day, even sacrificing his own son in the fire. Look, each of us has high places, secret sins, that we don't want to let go of. We don't want to confess, repent of, and destroy. We let them linger. But we need to destroy them. Not only for our sake, but for the generations that follow. Pray with me. Lord, Help me, through your strength, to destroy the high places in my life. Not only for my sake, but for the generations that follow. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.